It's your girl Blazewin and I'm back, of course I'm back, with this look. It is the Tamar Braxton All The Way Home inspired look from the music video. Um, and I used the Naked 3 palette. I had trouble getting this palette and I almost gave up. But in the end, it was all worth it to get this palette and I have a surprise for you at the end. So anyways, I now I have all three I know you guys have seen these a million times all three the naked the naked two the naked three the naked and the naked two have some similar have actually some of the same colors in it in their palettes I'll open them up mine is type messy this is the naked one or the naked naked two and Naked 3. That's it. Now, the Naked 3 is rose tones, which are beautiful on us chocolate girls, us nice tan olive skin girls. These colors are beautiful on our skin tone, and I love rose tone colors. I like rose gold. I just like rose. I actually, my watch is actually a rose gold watch. So, um, yeah love it um now these two same exact packaging basically the naked two and the naked three this is just kind of like wavy i really i i'm probably one of the only people who like this packaging because it's so light and it's easy it, but if you travel this is easy for travel just throw it in your suitcase so that's great and i do travel with these and um this is the only one that I take when I travel actually my naked two and my naked basics I take when I travel because neutral eyes are universal and great everywhere no matter what you're wearing right so um I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on this palette the naked three I actually like a lot of the colors black hearts really pretty and pigmented and it reminds me of a Mac color like when you look at it it reminds me of a mac but it doesn't come out like the colors i'm thinking of the black with the red glitter in it that's what it reminds me of looking at it but once you swatch it it doesn't look like that at all um so i'll start with here there's strange there's dust which is very very flaky i've seen a review a couple of reviews on it and i was like oh you know Sometimes I don't go along with the people's reviews, but this is very, very chalky and kind of flaky and there's fallout and I actually did use the color today and I used Fix Plus Spray with it just to make it less chalky. Um, burnout, there's Limits, there's Buzz, there's Trick. I'm not sure how I feel about Trick. It looks so pretty and nice and gold with just really, really pretty. And then you swatch it and you put it on your skin. And there's like nothing. I don't know if you guys could even see that. There's like nothing. Nothing. You have to do it a lot. I am NC45 in MAC or NC or the number 6 for the Matchmaster. But NC45, everybody knows that. I'm NC45. And trick is no matter how much I do it and put it down, it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. There's Nooner, which is a matte. There's Liar, Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and Blackheart. Now, all of these are brand new with Urban Decay's brand new formula. I think I have my Naked, my original Naked is the old Urban Decay formula. Naked 2 is the new formula, and so is Naked 3. And um, Urban Decay has always had really good pigmentation on their products to me I like their products I've always liked their products they're fabulous and yeah just love them um so out of my out of the three palettes what is my favorite one of course naked three um 
between one and two. I like naked two more than one, but I like the packaging on one. Um, but I think these are going to sit up on the shelf. And I'm just going to be using this a lot. This one, I'm using this one a lot. Just because of the rose tones and it's like, I could wear it with everything and have a nice pink lip or red lip and yeah. This one is the winner and if you haven't gotten your hands on it, then do so. Or find dupes for it. Like, you could probably find a uh, cheaper palette that goes along with this. I know with my um, naked palette, I went to Victoria's Secret and they had the naked, which I thought the naked at Victoria's Secret. Um, I think it was like 35 bucks. This was it. I really didn't use it much. But I'm 100% sure that you can find those same exact colors that the Naked 3 palette has. Probably at like Coastal Scents or at MAC or someplace else. So yeah, there's that. There is. So there's that. And um, in the Naked palette, they give you eyeshadow primers. They give you four and it's supposed to be, how much did it say? About a week's worth in each one. So there's Original, Eden, Sin, and Anti-Aging. I've tried all four. I've okay, so um, I'm just going to get right into this video. I hope you ladies enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. Tamar Braxton, all the way home video. Yeah, we did it. We got it. We're good. I'll see you at the end. Stay tuned to the end. There's a surprise. I did was take um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and I placed that on the end of my eye and all over my eye, uh, the end of my eyebrow, excuse me, and all over my eye. I don't want my eyebrows moving. Then I took a brush and I swept it, brushed it. Anastasia's Beauty Express for brown brows and eyes and I'm using brunette and I'm just uh, placing that all over and then I go in after that with Dip Down by MAC and I take small strokes so that it's nice and pretty.
make sure it's wet to make sure, so that it works really, really good. Um, and I just blend everything out. So I take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I take a large angle brush and I place that all over my face. Wherever I put the concealer down, that's where I want to put the powder so that it stays placed and doesn't move around. on foundation and I'm using Match Master by MAC and I'm using a stippling brush because I just want a light coverage and the stippling brush gives you a nice light coverage. with Fix Plus Fluid and I use dust and put that on wet. Now I take dust and I give myself an artificial crease. I place it above where my crease line is really at and um, I place that into a big crease and then I blend everything out. Now I take a fluffy brush and take strange just to highlight my eye. Now I take 
black heart which is very very pigmented and actually I'm going really really slow and I'm placing that a little bit below where I put the dark side don't forget to blend in place as you go and blend some more and place as much down as you want however dark you want it and blend some more Joy by Mac by NARS and I place that on my cheeks, smile, and please. Tamar was so highlighted, so I am going to highlight again and I'm using Marilyn Monroe Beauty Powder from MAC and I'm highlighting just about all over my face. Just because Tamar was so highlighted in the video. going to highlight again on top of my one highlight I'm using gold deposit from Mac nice and gold now I'm using soar by Mac lip liner and I'm placing it all over my lips YSL number seven lipstick and then on top of that I'm going to use gold digger from NARS I ain't saying she's a gold digger but she ain't messing with no broke. So that is the completed look. I hope you ladies enjoyed. I enjoyed making it. So here's the surprise. Um, I'm gonna do a giveaway of the Naked 3. I have four rules. One, you must be a subscriber. Two, you must like the video. Three, you must favorite the video. Four, you must put enter me one time, one time in the description box below. And you know what? There's another one. You must be following me on Instagram. You must be an Instagram friend of mine. Yes. So those are my rules. Um, thank you again. Don't forget to read some comments. Enter me one time and subscribe. Comment in the comments below. One time. One time. Thank you guys. And thank you to my 5K plus subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Once I reach 10K, I will be doing another giveaway. Mwah. <laughs>